Ooh. Ah. All right, it is finally happening. We are at Fantasy. We checked the put in about three weeks ago or something like that, and it was at like 40 on the bridge, which was way too high. We didn't put on, obviously. But now it's been in for the past like five or six days. I just got back from Dominican Republic, a quick little vacation with Chloe, which was fantastic. We're back, levels are still sick. So now it's time to go for my birthday joy lap. I am 30 today, which I'm pretty excited. I mean, spend along with two in your age, I'm pretty excited to mix it up and have three. The 30s are gonna be even better than my 20s. And if this is how it's starting, I think that's, uh, I think it's a good sign. Yeah, super stoked. Heading in for a one day birthday joy lap. Got a big crew, gonna be dope. Time to see the water level. Oh, fuck yeah. Looks fantastic. It's like low for This is gonna be so fantastic. Oh, it's gonna be so good for so many reasons. It's at about I think 16, 17, which is gonna be fantastic. Got a good crew. It's Brent's first time in here since 2018, and it's killed first time on here ever. Ready for his mind, about to get blown. I'm also stoked because I've been looking at footage for constantly for about a year and a half. Because I'm doing a project on Friday. Start getting ready for that. Either way, it's gonna be a fantastic birthday lap. It's gonna be so good. Let's go. Ah. Much better flow than last time. Oh yeah. 40 would have been a bit much. messed up and there's really not anywhere good to go on it as far as we know like maybe chuck kern has run it and i think someone mentioned like maybe taylor or someone like that but like as far as you know like only maybe one person has run it if that it's not worth it Ooh, we in it now let's go
Where is he? Where is he? He's in the hole! Get down, he's out! Get out! Fuck! Get the rope! Let's go to the hole. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Hole. One day I've done on Fantasy. Farthest downstream I've ever camped on this run is down at Mommy Gorge. And usually by the time you get there on the first day, the water's quite a bit higher. So I don't actually have any correlation between the bridge gauge and Mommy Gorge. I decided to get some rifle in to see what Mommy looks like. Now normally when we camp at Mommy or just upstream like I've done before, the next morning it's always a lot lower because it's always lowest in the morning. So I don't know what the bridge level compared to Mommy is, so excited to see it today. First got rifleman, and then we'll finally find out. Here we go, about to see Mommy Gorge.
Yeah, I think three. With the amount of people we have, three or four people at that in between the first two because you could easily like slide someone down with that many people down to the water needed and have a spare paddle there that can get <coughs> thrown down to us. At least one person at the bottom of the rapids, but it's really the first two that are the, really the first one that's the, the stout one. Okay. Yeah. So you don't think I need to get, should I get all the way to the water before you're running? Uh, be somewhere that you have a clear shot down okay. to the water, but I'll take, I'll take, to be a water I'll take level. a paddle too. Sick. Yeah, yeah, you should have the paddle. So this was the biggest question mark for me because I knew this would probably be the lowest I'd ever seen this. So seeing it looks good. First drop is still very intimidating, but in the end, as long as you're moving right, get your bow slightly right, left knee up, it'll be good. Then the second one doesn't look as naked as I expected, and then the bottom one's good. You've got to make a little ninja move in the eddy and then ferry across. Looks like Brand's going to do it with me. Oh, shit. Left and 
like? Yeah, I like moved really hard to get away from the wall and I just like felt the flow or something hit me. I was yeah. like, oh! Yeah, I wonder if the reconnects like... Oh, good. Maybe you two can both work. Do a cobra flip. Uh, don't trust me, I've thought about it. <laughs> I was up and I wanted to be so I tried a big boost to get back middle. But when I landed, all that spray and flow off the left side sent me like on my head, on my side. It was weird. And I rolled up. I went very smooth. Cole and Brent are gonna go. And yeah, I'm going again. <laughs> The second one was a lot more than what I was looking for. <laughs> I couldn't leave it on that first lap. Good. <laughs> Just remember that there's a tongue at the bottom hole on the right. So if you're surfing it, you can get out river right. Down at the bottom of the run. Last out of the day, show me your tip. Fantastic name, I know. Every time I say it out loud about people that don't know kayaking, I find it like how when I was on the plane back from DR a week ago and I said it like two times very loudly. Ah, oh, it's hilarious. Anyways, last big stout, super fun, bunch of exploding curlers and holds, and then it finishes with a big hole at the bottom. For those that are wondering, when it's low water like this, there's actually a bit of a tongue on river right that you can surf out of or aim for if you really get in control. But for the second point of this rapid today, it is my birthday, I am 30 today, and it has been a sick day. But in kayaking, there's a little tradition on your birthday where you have to find one stout eddy, one hard to catch eddy, somewhere on the run, whatever river you're on. So for me, I'm gonna try to catch the eddy halfway down the main part of the rapid, just above the big hole. So I'm gonna try to get it on purpose, so hopefully I'll get it. So nice. Stoke, let's finish off my third flush. Yeah. I missed it, I'm going 
going back up. I ended up being pretty middle here, and then it carried my feet left. When I usually aim for it, go right at that hole. Watch your bow, move left, and then look for the middle. The other option is to drive left through that little slide, move through the eddy, and then look for the middle. That's what I'm wondering about doing. So, I didn't get the birthday eddy, but I had my smoothest line on it. There's definitely no denying. This is a way nicer level to do the flush than the two times I've done it, which have been super high, especially the last one. The three big ones are just so much nicer this level. Oh, he might get the birthday eddy. Oh, did you make it left? I didn't say happy birthday to you this morning because I hoped you would get stuck in a hole and I would be like, happy birthday! <laughs> oh my god, oh, no! Oh shit! Oh, Sadly, <laughs> I didn't get the birthday, Eddie, but I tried. <sighs> that was epic. Day. Oh, that was so sick! So to get my third flush. So that finally somebody else got it. Brent got it with me. A lot of stuff happens to do in a day. The one day flush is rowdy on that one. <laughs> oh great. I know we said three, but 7.47 is pretty on time in my opinion. That was a day. Told Chloe seven. Right on time. Hey, babe, I'm home. And the reason I did this is because I saw the Reese's sticks that I bought for you in the fridge. Cool, still there. Go ahead. <laughs> ah! Okay. You need to go outside? You actually, yeah. I'm so excited. Damn, babe, that's phenomenal. <laughs> 